Recently, I had the opportunity to spend some time in the Frankfurt Rhine region of Germany. It's a country I'd never visited before, so it was one of those situations where I didn't quite know what to expect. My first proper view of Frankfurt was from the top floor of my hotel, which is situated next to the Messe area of the city. I was surprised to see a Manhattan-type skyline. I think in my mind's eye, I'd expected gingerbread houses. As well as being at the heart of Europe geographically, Frankfurt is the financial capital of Europe. The headquarters of the European Central Bank is round the corner from the hotel, and a number of other banks have huge complexes nearby. I spoke to Charlotte Jacobson, who is one of the PR managers for the area. She explained its situation in Germany to me. We have uh, two important rivers, the Main River and the Rhine River. So we have um, uh, the city of Frankfurt uh, as a central point, and then uh, in a very short um, the radius you can find a lo- lots of cultural offers uh, like the Rheingau region, you have the city of Wiesbaden and the uh, Mainz and Aschaffenburg so you have um, a cultural site um, with uh, hiking and biking and lots of outdoor activities that you can do you can have good food and very good wine we have one of the best wine areas in our region and of course also lots of historical sites and UNESCO World Heritage sites that you can visit. The main tower, one of the taller buildings, has an open rooftop where visitors can get a bird's eye panoramic view of the city and the surrounding areas. The local TV station has studios there too and while we were there the weather forecast was being broadcast from the roof. Viewers watch every night to see what Frank the Weather Frog, who is a stuffed toy, predicts. If he sits up, it'll be fair. If he lies down, the weather will be poor. I discovered that the weatherman's secret is that he velcros the stuffed toy to the table, so it's not that scientific. The city has an excellent public transport system with buses, trams and underground trains available on the network. Tickets are relatively inexpensive too. If you're slightly more adventurous and trusting, you could try a velo bike, which is like a bicycle taxi. We had an interesting and harrying journey through the city streets to a restaurant one evening. Getting to and from the city is very easy too, with high-speed rail connections to German and European destinations. The international airport is around 15 minutes drive from the city centre. As I discovered, the city is relatively easy to walk around. The skyscrapers surround the older part of the city and it's a maze of little streets with dozens of bars, restaurants and shops. My favourite area though was the town square or Rummerplatz. It's where you'll find the old town hall, the cathedral and some other beautiful buildings. In fact, it was there I had my first taste of the local speciality, apple wine, while sitting watching the world go by. I also discovered Romerplatz is where Frankfurt's famous Christmas market is held every year. The city is renowned for its apple wine taverns, which offer all sorts of meats, sausages and cheeses washed down with large jugs of the usually homemade brew. It has to be said, it's an acquired taste. Locals usually dilute it with lemonade or sparkling water, so watching us drink it straight led to some very amazed looks. Of course, if you want to experience more local gastronomic delights, I'd recommend you head to the nearby Klein Market Hall, where you can sample lots of local food and drink produce. The main river flows through the city, and its embankments house a string of 14 museums marking over 2,000 years of the history of the area. One I visited was the recently refurbished Stadel Museum, which has assembled a collection of over 3,000 paintings, 600 sculptures and 100,000 drawings and prints. The city has, as would be expected, a plethora of accommodation options to suit all budgets, as Charlotte explains. You know, we have everything that you could possibly imagine. Um, There are five-star hotels in the city of Frankfurt, for example. Uh, We have smaller hotels, um, we have apartments and bed and breakfast. We also have special hotels for people, for example, that do outdoor activities, uh, the bed and bike hotels. So you will find everything that uh, you can afford and what you can imagine. For further information, why not check out the website www.frankfurt-rhine-main.com.